Hello folks and welcome back once again to The Lost Crown. Now, in the last episode we were on a train, we got off, we made our way through the marsh and we're on our way to deliver this student her ID. I wonder if that's a real school. I'll check later. Anyhow, let's get started, shall we? Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Nothing ventured. Sorry, folks, just just in my mind a little bit. Treasure? Perhaps my time here would be entirely wasted. Treasure hunters descend on sleepy Saxton town. Ancient coasts ravaged by spring tides. There's treasure in those fens. Yada yada yada. And it has a ancient and fascinating history. History that we back to the Celts or Celts. Many experts, including Saxton's own Professor Hardacre, believe many of the later Anglo Saxon treasures have yet to be found. Alright. That's an interesting ad. Reduce your flesh by wearing what? Huh. Is there anything else there? symbol for something. The old woman in her husky. What's up with him? Ah, oh, here you are. Excuse me? I'm sorry, I should have said. Good evening. I took the train from midnight to now, which I guess is evening, to reach Saxon. Rain, uh, train ride. Uh, probably get there faster than a car. What is that? In the water? A tree stump, I think. Dark and shapeless. It could almost be a small body, couldn't it? I don't know. It's too far away. It could almost be a child's body. What? We should. Do not fret. I all will become clear. Is that your dog? Yes. George and I have been friends for many, many years. A woman's best friend? No, I wouldn't say that. There's something interesting about huskies. Damn male one, they're assholes. Universally, they're assholes. The female ones are a lot better. Is Saxton near here? You are standing on Saxton shore. So yes, you could say you've arrived. At last! I had to walk across the Fenland. Last train never arrives in Saxton. Why is that? I've no idea, dear boy. Saxton's an isolated town. There's 
like a hard place on the run. I expected to arrive at Saxton Station. High tides flood the fens, and no one can enter or leave the town. How do you cope? Cope? Cope with what? You know, emergencies and the like. Oh, I see. Oh, we cope. Yes, we cope very well. Um, okay. I'm seeking bed and board in the town. The bear is most likely to provide what you need. A bear? Oh, you mean a hotel? No, I mean the bear. You can't miss him. He'll be swinging tonight. I'm sorry. Oh, dear for me, I'm teasing you. You shall see. Uh, it's a pub, man. We looked at their barrels earlier. I'm Nigel, by the way. Yes, Mr. Devils, I'm sure you are. Am I expected? Oh, yes. For some time now, you may change at all. Time will tell. Huh. I'm not saying this because I hate treasure hunters. May I ask you something else? Oh, feel free, young man. I'll leave you in peace. Very well. I'll be seeing you again, sooner or later. It is a bit odd that everybody in town seems to know my name. Well, everyone so far seems to know me. Where did that little boy go? An abandoned building. It looks foreboding. I'll make a note. That one. These locks do still lie. I think I'll pass on the local delicacy. He doesn't like lobster. Oh, I guess they do look a bit like bugs. Wasn't planning on it. Creaky sign says the bear. Let's get right back into it. Um, excuse me. Can you help? Good afternoon, stranger. What can I get you? I'll take a bottle of, uh, still water. Can I rent a room for a week? All our guest rooms are taken. Busy time, May. So there's nothing you can offer? Well, there is the cottage on the harbour, if that suits you. Well, I'll take anything you have. 
It's clean, but a bit cluttered. I'm none too fussy. I'm sure it will be fine. I hope you don't mind the sounds and briny smells. Is it nearby? It's right on the harbour, surrounded by water. Perfect. What do I owe you? We can settle up when you leave. That's if you leave us, Mr. Danvers. Here's the keys and a map of the town. Yeah. Does the pub have a phone? Afraid not. Wouldn't be in keeping with the place. Is there a payphone in town? Yes, across the harbour, over the bridge and up Station Lane. Is May a busy time for Saxton? Yes, you could say that. Local events? The Saxton May Day Fair is famous in these parts. You'll be in for quite a week. Pardon me, but uh, who are you? Me? I'm Morgan, the landlady of the Bear, and have been for a few years now. And you are? Nigel. Nigel Danvers. You'll be in for quite a week. I'll catch you later. Perhaps. An old painting, or a copy of one. That's unusual. The clock is stuck at nine o'clock. I think I'll pass on a local delicacy. Smart. Saxon snappers, rice, Brenham, healthy corn. That's it for this. Let's be friendly. Hello there. Oh, hello. It's a foggy night. This fog hides many things. Like treasure? Ah, uh, another glory seeker. Not exactly. I'm not sure what I'm seeking. What are you up to? What are you up to? On holiday, actually. And, and you? Work. I'm a writer. A journalist for the local rag. I'm guessing not much happens around here. You'd be surprised. I'll see you around. I'll see you around. You will. Trust me. Oh. That didn't sound at all threatening. There's someone out there. Hmm. You boy. You, boy, what are you doing, loitering? I'm staying nearby. Uh, Harbour Cottage? This town attracts all sorts of freaks and losers at this time of year. <sighs> we can't go out. <sighs> Anyhow, let's get back to this. What's so special about this time of year? Oh dear, not too bright, are you? 
had much experience of geology, have you? Well, no, not really. I've always thought that... Uh, How about archaeology? Uh, no, but I'm willing to learn. Do you believe this county conceals hidden treasures? I do. Whether we find them is another matter. This land is old and steeped in blood and horror. The landscape around us has been witness to the fall of kings and death in plague-sized proportions. Time and turmoil can see some items misplaced. They are there for us to find. If you know where to look. I think the same thing can be said uh, for... All places, really. Not the same way. This seems a uh, good town in which to disappear. On the run, are we? No. Just laying low for a while. I'd suggest making peace with who you're running from and getting back to your own little world. You could be right. I can but try. <sighs> I'm keen to find the treasure. Where's the best place to start? Well, that's an easy one. Leave town, walk back across the fen to the station. Yep, I'm, uh, I'm with you so far. Get on a train and clear off back to London ASAP. I can't do that, Mr... Hardacre. Professor Hardacre. Famed archaeologist. Perhaps you've heard of me. No. My journey was a one-way trip. I'm not going back to London empty-handed. So be it. Enjoy your stay. Met Professor Harlass. So, let's check out our cabin. That's not right. That's not right. That's not right. Oh, come on. is a dump. I guess it'll have to do for now. Time to have a look around. Yeah, let's explore a bit. Ew. Home, sweet home. For the time being. Cottage, Saxton, Anglia. This delightful harborside cottage will be offered at auction and by Rendlesburg on the 7th of November 1988. Offers over 50,000 are expected. 
Massachusetts from the very edge of Saxon Quay. Harbor Cottage offers great views from the Wharton Harbor to the front and the Coast Path from the open sea to the deep. While we're surrounding the building on three sides, the cottage feels at sea, bobbing up and down on the ocean. The cottage is a great place to hang the part of town with Access to the Saxon Shore, the Bear Restaurant and Bar, as well as shops near the Museum and Train Station. Alright. Now available following the death of the previous owner, Edward Molina. Previously, Eduardo de Molina, before settling Lincoln, Spain in the 1950s. Needs substantial modernization and redecoration to meet British standards of uh, accommodation in the public area of the stadium. Obviously, that hasn't been fulfilled. Walls are in excellent condition given the harbor side location. Surveyors have often marveled at the resilience of the cottage stating it looks as if. Place looks after itself. Some walls date back to the 17th century with the main upper rooms supported by timber salvaged from steam ships of the Spanish Armada. The building was used as a storage house for boats and goods for over 300 years with basic living accommodation in place. Many fishermen from town, well, from home abroad will have slept in the upper levels after seeking a safe harbor in town. Ownership. It's being offered as freehold with rights and responsibilities to the arm of Saxon Quay. Since the start of the building, private ownership was granted to Edward Molina in the mid-50s. Yes, commercial and private his wife to join him from southern Spain. Sadly, tragedy followed, leaving the cottage empty for three decades with no family interest or claims ownership. The cottage is now returned to sex and gay. Something else. It's not. No one has been through there for decades. Ooh. There's something about this wall. Something not quite right. I don't know. Sound. Hmm. The cottage is ready. I could never have believed this old storehouse could look so charming. The view from the window is truly delightful. Who would have thought such a humble building could offer so much? The carpenters of Saxton have followed my instructions well. Even dwarf rams have sw small windmill motifs, which Christina is sure to find charming. I count the minutes until her arrival. Almost nine days later, she arrives. She's having Stepping in paper that she never arrived. It's wonderful to have her here in Harbor Cottage at last. Saxton welcomed her, but still she seems in sure of the place. I will have to introduce her to the others as soon as possible. 
It is important that she warms to this place as I intend to stay for many, many years. Locals have taken to her. Oh. have taken to her as I had hoped they would. We celebrated Sets' newest arrival with drinking, dancing, and singing within the warm paneled walls. Friends are there. I stand and wish to continue her work as soon as possible. This is a wonderful sign. If she can sew, stitch, and weave, then I know she will be content to live here. This old town later, she's sick, something weird, she said, I ate the same as she, I had put her to bed and disturbed her sleep only to bring water, my work will take me away from town for several days, but can I leave her, a strange face in a strange town, now I will have to stay by her side, her beautiful hair has begun to thin, I have kept this news from her. It can do no good. The other pages appear to be blank. That's very odd. Hmm. The other pages appear to be blank. That's very odd. Okay. This is the perfect place to pin Paddy documents. empty photo album. Hmm. I'll rest after I have finished investigating. leave it here for right now. I'll get back to you on this. Yeah. See you later. <laughs> 